Na 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 na. What's up, guys, and welcome to episode two of the Sport Life Rewind podcast. This week, we in the West Island, at least, we had the prospects playing NHL hockey. Uh, the rookies were playing NBA basketball, and the All Stars were playing NFL football. Yeah, so wanted to say congrats, first of all, to the Habs and Lightning and the prospects for winning the cup. Also, in the rookies, congrats to the Mavericks winning the NBA championship. And finally, to the Kansas City Chiefs for taking home the Vince Lombardi Trophy and the All-Stars. Yeah, and what those trophies were absolutely beautiful to look beautiful. at. If you haven't seen them, go to the highlights uh, on YouTube on Sport Life because they were fantastic. But uh, I want to say congratulations to Coach Jolly, Coach Swag, and Coach Dank. Uh, leading their teams to the championship. Uh, unfortunately for you, um, Coach Romer and the Steelers, they made the finals after a grueling playoffs. Yeah. I and mean, unfortunately, uh, they took the L there. Tell me what happened. Yeah, I mean, we, um, throughout the whole week, I, I love my team. Great kids, great at football, always smiling. We were 7-0 and at one point. And then all you Sport Life fans, free agent frenzy hit, and we hit a tide. Big, big tide. Lost a couple of games, but I managed to change our team around and trade that line. And we ended up being middle of the pack towards going into Friday. And we made it all the way to the championship. I mean, we thought we had Dank. We thought we had him. But I think his strategy is really, I think he out-strategized me. And they took home, took home the chip. Yeah, and speaking of Coach Dank, this guy made a bunch of moves at the trade deadline. Oh, my God. Uh, ended up winning the championship. Uh, Here's a clip that we actually got an exclusive interview with him once again. You good? Yeah. What's up, Sport Life Nation? This is Coach Matt Kersey of the Sport Life Rewind Podcast. I'm here with Coach Dank. Let's go, baby. The new champion of that beautiful Lombardi, Lombardi Trophy, trophy with the Kansas City Chiefs. Tell me. <laughs> the Chiefs. The Chiefs. We're good, we're good. Tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling overjoyed. The boys came to the form. The girls came to the form. Finals, we scored every drive. Defense, we locked down. It was a great week. I'm feeling pumped. Let's go. Listen, you guys kind of blew them out of the water in the finals. Forget about it. I feel like I know who you're going to say, but tell me, who do you think's got to win the MVP? Honestly, I mean, the obvious answer's got to be David Jeffries. But if I had to go with the wild card, I think I got to go with Emmy. Lockdown defense on Matisse. And then Noah Souls. She really brought it home for us. Good job, Emmy. Uh, there's one more guy I want to talk about. For sure. He's been with you all week. Day one. You know, he was with you last year. Dylan Blumenthal. Tell me... What do you think about this kid? Tell me uh, what he means to you and what he meant to your team this week. This guy is one of the greatest, nicest human beings alive out there in this world. Dylan, I love the kid. I drafted him in the fourth round for his skill, for his touchdown strength, and his just heart, his encouragement. He's always the first to congratulate the other team, pump up his team. That's why I love having him. There's one last thing I want to ask you because I don't think any of these coaches know how it feels, but I want you to know, I want to know how it feels to wake up this good looking every single day of the week. It just makes no sense to me. Like it should be impossible. Just tell me how you feel every time you wake up, just look at yourself in your mirror. Like how, how do you not fall in love with yourself? I appreciate that, Matt. But to be honest, when I wake up in the morning, it's honestly straight to the door. I don't have time to check myself out. Although I would love to more, but you know, stuff happens. We gotta get here, we gotta coach, and we gotta win championships, baby. Let's go. Well, one last time, congratulations. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> this is Matt Campbell, Sport Life Nation. Let's go. Sport Life Rewind Podcast. See you back at the desk. Wow, what an interview. I'll tell you what, Coach Dank, always a character. Uh, thank you again, Coach Dang, for that exclusive interview. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure your kids loved uh, being coached by you as much as you love coaching them. Perfect, so now let's head on to the awards. In the rookies this week, Coach of the Week went to Coach Dahlia, and for the prospects, Coach of the Week went to Coach Gabby. For sportsmanship, in the rookies was Tobin Levine, and in the prospects, it was Emmett Songji. Our Jonah Grubstein Award this week went to Weston Mistel, and our Most Improved Player went to Logan Louie. And lastly, our MVP in the rookies was Justin Gooselissi. All right, so for the awards, we'll start off first with the coach of the week. I want to say congrats to Coach Seren, did an awesome job this week. Um, second award, we had the sportsmanship award going to Caden Trickett. Always showed at sportsmanship, always respectful, win or loss on the field. Yeah, and the David Jeffries award for sport life passion goes to my boy, Ryan Pace, was on my team all week. And uh, Coach Dang said it in his interview, of course, the MVP had to be David Jeffries. Uh, we actually got to take a picture with that celebrity of Sport Life, um, as you can see here. He's uh, we've all got the we've all got the shades on. I mean, more importantly, the Pit Vipers, you know. So a little bit of extra swag there. Um, but now, as you can see here, 
Um, he's just number one on the Hall of Fame leaderboard. You know that you get sportman sportsmanships, championships, and MVPs. He just had another championship, another MVP to add to his lead. Uh, he just passed Coach Levy last year, uh, so I'm sure he's gonna be happy about that one. Yeah, David Jeffries always awesome, especially this week. But the Ravens were also awesome, weren't they, Coach Matt? I mean, you guys going into Thursday, I'd say even Friday, you guys were heavy favorites. Tell me what went down today. Yeah, you know, we had a good uh, a good free agency. We were able to keep my boy Ryan Pace. You know, the guy was lighting it up all week, um, and we actually got Matisse as a super door, which was absolutely crazy. But uh, I had to trade away Matisse and get my boy uh, my boy Eddie. Uh, unfortunately, he woke up today, was, wasn't feeling well, so uh, the Ravens were shorthanded, one of their best players. So unfortunately, we weren't, we weren't able to get it done, uh, and that made me a little angry. So uh, here's a clip of me taking on my frustrations on some kids. You ever wonder how coaches uh, let out all their frustration on kids? They wait for moments like this. taking out your anger on all those kids how'd it feel yeah i'm gonna be honest it did make me feel better um and here's a segment that's bound to make everyone feel a little bit better make everyone laugh it's our pie in the face replay and uh this week it goes to coach king uh, a rookie coach at sport life and uh you got a warm welcome with this uh pie in the face let's take a look at it And that does it for episode two of the Sport Life Rewind podcast. Stay tuned next week when the prospects are playing NFL football, the rookies are playing club soccer, and of course, the NBA basketball for the All-Stars. And you guys are wondering why Coach Matt was wearing a hat and sunglasses inside? Well, let me tell you, that is what a Sport Life tan looks like. See you next week! Na 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 na